It flew twice the speed of sound and was the pride of Soviet aviation. Today it stands idly on one of the airfields outside Moscow, forgotten by many, but not by those who once flew it. Vladimir Kuzhanovsky was one of the Tupolev 144 test pilots. He flew nearly all the 16 planes made in the Soviet Union. It was a very good plane and very comfortable in steering, and it was very well equipped. It had this modern navigation device that showed the map of the area beneath us, so we were able to see the exact location where we were throughout the whole flight. Although it looks as if it's ready to take off, this plane last flew in 1978. The Tupolev 144, or Konkordsky as it was called, was built as a competitor to the Anglo-French Concorde. The first supersonic commercial aircraft beat its rival by two months into the air. Tupolev 144 faced a promising future, but the 1973 crash at the Paris Air Show changed all that. The plane went through several modifications and was put back into service in 1975, flying between Moscow and Almaty. A second crash and high fuel costs sealed its fate. The last jet flew in 1985. Engineer Alexei Amelushkin knows the plane inside out. After all these years, he's still very fond of it. For design, None of the planes we have now can be compared by their design and technical merits with the TU-144. It was the peak of our aviation. It's our national heritage. It's the eighth miracle of the world. That's how we see it. But a year ago, airport officials decided to scrap the last two legendary planes. Gennady Irekin, a former pilot, decided to save it. He raised 10 million rubles, about 300,000 US dollars. Now he wants to repair it and turn it into a museum. It should strike the visitor with its glamour, both inside and outside. We must make it look as if it's ready for flight, so that everyone who comes to see it has one question. Can it fly? And we should be able to answer yes, it can. Those who flew the Tupolev 144 are convinced that supersonic planes are not gone forever. And both the Tupolev and Concorde might one day return. Once rivals, the Tupolev 144 and Concorde have shared the same fate. Neither fly anymore. This plane would need millions of rubles more to become a real tourist attraction. But the first step has been made. The plane has been rescued from becoming just another piece of steel. Karina Melikan, Russia Today, Moscow.